I'm with Glenn Hollock. He's the Director of Golf and a PGA Professional here at Lynx Hope Island. Glenn, Susie from Wakehurst is having a nightmare with her three parts. They're ruining her round. She's going long, she's going short, she doesn't know what to do. What would you recommend? Well, Mary, you're spot on there. A lot of, a lot of three putts uh, do come from poor distance control on the first putt. So that's what we're going to focus on today. And what we're going to do is visualise a three foot circle around the hole, just to give ourselves a bit bigger target to focus on for our first putt. So we're not going for the hole? No, we're not going to try, try and hole all of these ones. Our goal here is just to get the ball down in two. So uh, if we can visualise that circle, make the second putt as easy as we can. Wow, that sounds really easy. Well, let's see how easy it really is. Okay, so like any putt, we've got to, we've got to read the putt. We've got to pick our line. Always have a practice swing. Get some good distance control there. Eyes over the ball and a nice smooth stroke. There she goes, down to three foot. Well done. And then that's a tap in, isn't it? We should be able to tap that one in from there. Well, right, let's see how I go. Let's see if I can get inside it. So I'm aiming for the three foot circle. Correct. It's going to go underneath. Oh, that's breaking. Look at that. So that's about five, six foot out. That's not bad. A little bit of work to do. All right, one more. Have another go. And that might pull up a bit short. Mm. But that really gives me something to focus on, Glenn. That three foot circle sort of changes in my mind, and I'm sure in Susie's, that it's less pressure, isn't it? It is. You're not, you're not trying to hold the ball. We're just trying to leave ourselves with a nice, comfortable second putt. 